Okay, we're apparently on the west side of town. We need to go to the east side of town. I say we're on the west because we meet, we saw the tavern and the poor lady. And apparently the west side of this town is the poor side. So the east side would be uh, the, uh, the, uh, the rich side. Yeah. And uh, I have no idea where I am in terms of direction Enjoying because... Enjoying your stay on Pagan Abaddon? Maybe this is the library. Let's go in here. No, don't, don't, don't do that. How about no? Hey! Nope. 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 No. Nope. <laughs> Just, uh, nope. That doesn't look like the library. Let's continue this way. You know what? Actually, I am curious. Maybe it is the library. Who knows? Maybe the library is into... To, uh, skulls. Yeah, <laughs> hey! Hey, lady executioner, how are you doing? Pardon me. Pardon me! Hello. Good day, stranger! Okay, good day. I said goodbye, I'm sorry. W woman Woman, talk to me. Hello, hello again, on guard! Uh, who are you? Not that is it, 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 I am shy Shana. Okay, great. <laughs> May we speak? Greetings again, stranger. I suppose you wish more of my time? Only a moment. Very well, stranger. You have a moment. What is it that you want? And I assume it is not to beg me away from an appointed task. What is your task? I think that you need to not know such things, but let me assure you that that is not a blah, 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 blah. D d I kill people. Most interesting things to study and appreciate a decapitated body. What? <laughs> I read that all wrong. Great. Uh, what do you study? Oh, dear stranger, if I have not yet made it perfectly clear that my business is none of your concern, let me do so now. As far as you need to know, I am but an executioner. Nothing more, but nothing less. Yet you study all their pursuits? I have warned you not to pry into my affairs. Do not fool yourself into thinking that I am, uh, incapable of performing the duties of my position, even when the victims are not found. Bound. I have no qualms about studying, slaying someone who deserves to die. Okay, whoa, whoa, let's chill. Though I do not necessarily agree with the lady's methods. And I said goodbye by accident. Okay, well, I guess we don't need to know about that anymore. Let's eat her cheese. Probably not a very wise thing to do, but that's okay. We'll leave her vanity items alone. Wait, unless that, that actually looks kind of important. It's, it's not like it's perfume. It's probably perfume. But, maybe it's not. Okay, I can't even look at it. Perfume! It is perfume! I want some perfume. I didn't steal it! I didn't take your perfume! Can, can I use it? No? Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep it on me anyway. <laughs> I didn't take your perfume, I swear. Let me get out of here. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where I am at all. If I'm on the east side, the west side, north, south, I have no idea. I'm trying to find the beginning now so that I can maybe, maybe find out. I think this might be the beginning. Right? Maybe? Yeah, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. Okay, so, this is north. Never eat. Okay, so, we gotta go this way. This way's east. Get on my way, guard. I'm trying to go east. Hey, who are you? Hello? What's your name? I'm sorry, but I wish to never speak spend strangers. It's a quick way to lose your money and your life. Oh. Well, you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> Let's, uh, keep going this way. Oh, this looks promising. Maybe. Oh, maybe this is the wrong side. Maybe this is the west side. Dang it, I hate being wrong. Hello, what is your name? I am the Avatar, I'm Firehazard. Yeah? <laughs> she doesn't believe me. Where do you come from? From another town world. 
Yeah? She doesn't believe me. <laughs> what did you do there? I fought monsters. I helped people. I baked bread. I baked bread. Yeah? <laughs> she doesn't believe that. Why are you so tall? Um, a, a troll stretched me. Yeah? How'd you get here? Uh, a big red hand dropped me. Yeah? Do you always wear this silly costume? <laughs> yes, I do. No, I do not. What silly co Yes, I do. Yeah? Why are Torex is big and brown? Is that the bear thing? Why are they not blue and red? Because they are- if they were, they'd, they'd be with Kith- they'd be Kith. Yeah? Yeah! Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm never gonna talk to you again. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, where the heck's this library? I don't know if I'm on the poor side, the rich side, the frick side. This looks rich. It's got dragons over here. And statues and stuff. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> There's another girl. I'm not gonna talk to her. Screw it, screw that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I found the library! Why are there so many poor people walking around the rich place? Okay, whatever. Hey, it smells like a library in here. That's so cool. What's in here? What's this? Quiet. Oh. You, you really need a golden plaque to tell people to be quiet? Great. Hey, it's a giant fish! Can I eat your giant fish? Yes. That is a really creepy picture over here that I'm trying to get to. That, that right there is terrifying. But it's not what I came here for. There's also a clock on a skull pedestal, which is kind of weird. Stories to make children sleep by Grother Grimm. Jelly was a lad. Jelly was a lad. Okay, who was so hard to please. Nothing would he eat except for plates full of cheese. His obsession was strange, and no one knew why. He swore cheese was his meal to the day that he died. Okay, then. His father, a strong man who was hearty and pink, was at his wit's end and is driven to drink. Okay, that's sad. He would stay at the tavern and tell of his woe. On cheap tankards of grog, his money he'd blow. Oh, is this hard blow? Okay. Or blowhard. What was his name? Blowhard or hard blow? I don't remember. My son a good lad, though a little bit clunky, chunky, <laughs> has turned into a ravenous Limburger junkie. All my land and my house and the coins in my purse I will give to the man who can remove this foul curse. The old man's plea went out and was told near and far. It was whispered by gossips and made light but of in the bar. But one day into town strolled a strange little fellow. His robes were all tattered and his skin a sickly yellow. I can cure your boy, he told the ripe drunken Sa sod. I will make him good as new, this lad you call Todd. Oh, Todd. The father cried, his name's not Todd, it's Jelly, you snot. Okay, <laughs> I guess they just needed to rhyme, great. But go on and give it a try, give it your best shot. Why did you name your son Jelly? Todd's a much better name than Jelly, but okay. Now I'm gonna name my son Jelly whenever I have a son, and it's gonna be awful. And when he asks me, why do you name me Jelly? I'm gonna be like, read this book in this really old game, and then he'll hate this game. <laughs> but before he started, the mage asked for the first, for a small taste of grog to quell a quick thirst. After slamming four tankards, he got back to work, though his eyes did spin and his hands did jerk. With that, with the boy before him, the mage reared back, while clutching his ray... I can't read that, is that an E? <laughs> Regents in a small toad sack. I don't know. He sent out flames of red, green, and blue that engulfed the boy, hiding him from all's view. When the flames died away, as well as the stench, to the father's red eyes, his boy was a winch. Oh no! He cried, and, his, and he cursed this new fate. My hard-working boy now looks like dungeon bait. Okay. That. 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 <laughs> How could you do this, you doddering old fool? Did you sleep every day while a wizard and while in wizarding school? 
wizardry school? <laughs> With the excitement now over, the father settled down. Upon the nearest table, his head he did pound. Okay, that sounds wrong. Suddenly, a dark-robed figure entered into the grog joint, and at the old mage, a withered finger he did point. Then, with a flash of yellow, the mage disappeared. Everyone dove for cover, for spellcasters they now feared. With an incantation shouted by the figure in black, the young boy named Jelly quickly transformed back. Oh, transmuted back. As he left the place, everyone heard the words of the monk. Never let a bad spellcaster cast spells, especially drunk. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think that the spellcaster was going to be drunk. I'm dumb. He drank grog. What was I thinking? To this very day, the young boy they call Jelly continues to stuff away cheese in his portly pot belly. Great. But his father is content, and he will always smile. This beats worrying about a daughter by a country mile. <laughs> Tis not that, I don't want a girl, claims the tired old father. But when a boy is young, he is less of a bother. <laughs> a young boy you must check up on every time and again. But with a young girl, you must watch all the young men. That's true. <laughs> Can I take that book with me? I like it. <laughs> I want to take it. I can! It's my book now! <laughs> You're coming with me, Jelly! Oh, so many books in here. Wait, that one was short. Oh, no, it wasn't. I just clicked twice. It is still short. Oh, I want to read these! Okay, uh, I need to stop looking at books. What's this plaque say? Over here. What's it say? Quiet. <laughs> I'm so glad I read that. Okay, I don't want to talk to any of these gorilla people. What, what, what did I come here for? Oh, was it her? Did I come for her? Hello? What's your name? Who are you? Has Mordia sent you to question me? Maybe. Huh, if you do not know who I am, then you do not what I don't know what I have done. Okay. <laughs> what did I come here for? Hello? Shh. You know, I don't know why I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the walkthrough again and see what I was actually supposed to do here. Cause I don't know. I just knew I had to go to the library, man. I'm supposed to search out Benick. Where's Benick? Benick, you're supposed to be in the library. I think I saw some stairs over here, but they didn't look like they went anywhere, but I'll check them anyway. Cause you never know. Okay, they went somewhere. Great. <laughs> hey, you look new. Greetings! I never knew that. Oh, okay. And <laughs> you never knew greetings. Greetings, stranger. I've used that voice so many times. What is your name? My name is Bintik. It is a word of pagan derviation. I think it is originally meant he who tells hard. What? <laughs> but that is not for certain. I have found a number of... Of... References to... Vinte in several older texts and feel that this may be the root of the name Bintik. And what is your name, friend? My name's Firehazard. <laughs> well met, Firehazard. I am pleased to meet you. Uh, what do you do? By trade, I am the librarian of the city. However, I prefer to think of myself as a student of life. One who spends his time observing all faucets of life. I would love to be a librarian. I was once a library aide. Did horribly. <laughs> I am a great studier of people. You would be amazed at the things you may learn by simply observing your neighbors in their everyday life. Okay, so you're a stalker. That's nice. Tell me of the library. Tell me of the people. Tell me of your neighbors. Uh, library. The library is my joy. It is where I spend all of my time studying the words left by our pro predecessors. Predecessors, you cannot believe your eyes. If ten million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep, <laughs> they contain the wisdom of many ages in them. Too many people overlook the knowledge of our past generations because of the, the we, this. We are doomed to repeat the past. Oh, to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Uh, tell me of the people. Ah, you are a student of life as well? I do so enjoy finding someone who shares the same passions as I do. Yes, I love stalking. Teach me your ways, Mr. Stalker. The people here in Tenebrae are a varied and 
fascinating lot. They go about their daily tales, tasks. It looks like tales. Toils! Toils! Oh! Labor <laughs> laboring under the yoke of a somewhat rest restrictive government, and yet still find the time to enjoy themselves occasionally. Okay, tell me of your neighbors. I think the one I like to spend the most time with is Devin. Hey, my boy Devin! He is such a sharp fellow. I think he has far more potential than he even realizes. Okay, uh, d uh Devin has potential. <laughs> yes, I can't put my finger on it, but there is something there. Call it a hunch, if you will. I just seem to feel that there is something about him that suggests great things. <laughs> he does love to read. Maybe he is destined to be a great scholar. Uh, great. Does he know how I made Leave Pagan? Leave Pagan? My goodness, I don't think I've ever heard had anyone ask for that. Uh, but then again, you don't not net act, talk, or dress like anyone I've ever seen before. Let's see, I can only suggest you speak to someone with the more magic abilities than I have. Mithrin could help you. Or, though I dread it to suggest it, perhaps the necromancer could help you. Okay, who is Mithrin? Mithrin lives in a small house on the plateau. Plateau, whatever. He has been known to dabble in the various magical arts, and is a scholar. He often makes magical scrolls and things and sells them. Oh, okay, great. Uh, practices stuff. Yes, though I'm not sure what school he follows. Uh, 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 uh it's Plateau. From the palace in the center of Tenebrae, head north out of the city. Follow the path through the valley to the cave to entrance. Go through the cave. Okay, palace, center, head north, out of the city, go to the cave. Gotcha. It opens on the other side of the mountains on the plateau. Okay. Ah, uh, just, bye. <laughs> I don't feel like talking anymore. Come back anytime, fire hazard. I so love a good something. Conversation? <laughs> Okay. I like Bennett. Bennett. I don't remember his name. <laughs> I think it was Bennett. Bentent? Ben Bennett? I don't remember. Let's leave. Let's go find Mithrin. Or, I think that was his name. <laughs> okay. Help me remember, guys. We gotta go to the cave. I don't remember where that was. We go- no, wait. We, uh, we go to the center of town. Hey, we're here. Okay, great. And we just keep going this way until we head out of the city and there was a spider over here, so I'm just gonna kill that. <laughs> Watch me shuffle. Okay. Yep. Die, spider! Die! Die, spider! Die. Okay, I'm dead. Would have been a great idea to save before going outside. Yeah, it would it would have been. It would have been a great idea to save before doing that. Now I have to go talk to Bendit again. Frick! <laughs> Frick! No, the spider thing got me. I didn't know that it was gonna kill me immediately. I thought it's like the first enemy of the game. God, that thing's creepy. It's like a spider scorpion. Okay, that's great. Can this gravestone go away now? Why is the pause button freaking out? Sorry, I meant the health and the mana. mana. Can I go? Do I have to restart? Oh, no. I'll be right back, guys. I think my game's broken. <laughs>